So you're building a video game which is run by position of the hand. Yes. And so if we look at the uh, screen and move your hand around here, there's a little uh, little marker which is tracking your hand. And it's based on skin color, yes? Yes. But it's ignoring faces mm -hmm. because it's looking at the largest connected component? Yes, and it has to be uh, in, a, in a whole, like, more uh, complete area of skin color to, to make sure to recognize as a whole hand. So it has to be compact. It has yeah. to be, okay. Interesting. All right. So so you can track a hand now. So what are you going to do with this? Uh, I'm going to, this cursor actually is going to be my knife to cut the foods I, I generate. So in pass mode, uh, I always generate all my foods in here. And you hear sound generation and cut the food into several pieces like this. Okay. <laughs> and uh, at the real game mode, I'm going to turn on the random generator state machine. So you see it keep going anywhere. Oh, you see the bump over there? If I cut it, the game goes over. And you see the on the top left corner that, oh, it, it's done. So I accidentally cut the bomb. bomb. Yeah, but oh, uh, you, you cut see, a bomb. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the score is there. So that's how the whole okay, game so works. Okay, so let's see it again. Yeah. Okay, you got one. You got Another that two. one. Yeah, another one here. Another one. <laughs> it looks like you somebody's yeah. been practicing. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's this and apple. Oh, this banana. Yeah, that's all I got here. You missed the bomb. That's yeah, good. That's what I want. And the score you see. Oh, actually, I use hex number scores. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically the whole idea of the game. Well, it looks pretty playable. The response yeah. is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you see uh, there are actually mirror effects to all corners of the code, uh, of the whole video screen. Mm -hmm. So oh, I've got 21, that's actually 30 something. <laughs> The ten, number 20 is actually hex. Oh, well, this is hexadecimal on the yeah. top, yeah, all right, yeah. so. And I think if I, oh, yes, sometimes, yeah, this is maybe better for the corner. And, oh, if I try, yeah, boom. you see, boom, this, and it's fine. Okay, so it's, it's, it's quite more. responsive. Mm -hmm. And you said that the, the fruit is in M4K blocks, so, so you're reading those images out. So you had to store those images. Where did you get the images from? Uh, the images are actually from <laughs> online, and we made some modification here to make the... Broken fruit. Yeah, to, to make the, the broken fruit. Yeah. Yes. And, you had to, and you had to figure out how to get rid of the backgrounds. Yes, yeah. uh, that's also basically by color detection if I see too much contrast. Uh, and then I don't think it's the, the uh, color of fruit anymore. So okay. So I just try to get rid of it instead of showing the huge black area. Right. That's really. No, it look good. It look. It looks. It's very. Uh, it looks playable. Well, when do you want to try and play? <laughs> <laughs> See if it's tuned to only one hand. No. I don't so know. it should be. Yeah, I don't know if the sunburn is going to help. I don't know. I don't think the sun. It's sunburn. Yeah. Sun <laughs> yeah. I'll All right. That, that doesn't really <laughs> Cursor okay. continuity now. Because the cursor is tracking not only skin color but continuity of, of skin color. So now put your face over, put your face in there and pick up the cursor, right? And now it's tracking the other face. It's lost. Now it got lost. Now if I if I grab it with my fist, I can I can take it away. I think if I'm bigger, yeah. So I can take it away, and now I'm gonna try and take it back up to your face, and I'll take it off of there. And I'll kind of also reset to the Okay, now it just got reset to the center. So let me try and pick it up again here and put it back on your face. And now it's on your face again. That's very cool. So it's a face tracker. <laughs>